Good morning. Our gathering hymn this morning is number 437. 437, Isaiah 49. 437. Gathering him, my 437, Isaiah 49. I will never forget you, my people. I have called you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphan. I will never forget my own. Does a mother forget her baby? Or a woman the child within her womb? Yet even if these forget, yes, even if these forget, I will never forget my own. I will never forget you, my people. I have called you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphan. I will never forget my own. Today is the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, priest of our church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, Granted by his help, we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth and merit to receive with them a crown in heaven. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth, a man of strife and contention to all the land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and the happiness of my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord God of hosts, I did not sit celebrating in the circle of merrymakers. Under the weight of your hand, I sat alone, because you filled me with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed become for me a treacherous brook, whose waters do not abide. Thus, the Lord answered me, if you repent so that I restore you in my presence, you shall stand. If you bring forth the precious without vile, you shall become my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you, and you shall not turn to them and I will make you toward this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail, for I am with you to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O oh my God. From my adversaries defend me. Rescue me from evildoers. From bloodthirsty men save me. God is my refuge on the day of my distress. For behold, they lie in white for my life. Mighty men come together against me, not for any offense or sin of mine, O Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O my strength, for you I watch. For you, O God, are my stronghold. As for my God, May his mercy go before me. May he show me the fall of my foes. God is my refuge on the day of distress. But I will sing of your strength and revel at dawn in your mercy. You have been my stronghold, my refuge in the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. O oh, my strength, your praise I will sing. For you, O oh God, are my stronghold, my merciful God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. My friend says the Lord, for I have made known to you all the Father has told me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus continue to share with us his parables in order for us to understand more deeply on the things that he wanted to explain about the kingdom of God. Well, two things in the parable today in our gospel about the, the parable of great price and the parable of the field where Jesus himself relates to his disciple, most especially once you're able to find that thing that is valuable to one's heart, everything has already been eliminated. Perhaps in the many lives of the saints, also sometimes we also ask this, why these people, these great saints, just to tend to give up a lot of things about themselves and about their lives and just simply follow God and Jesus? And also maybe in our contemporary times as well, we could see some people who would renounce everything that they have in the world and also follow the Lord Jesus. Some people, too, embrace a lot of things, giving up everything in themselves and just finding to themselves that they were able to be converted to the faith. I think this is our pearl of great prize as well, to realize fully with much decision in our own hearts. Once we are able to see the point of Jesus about following him, the grace of God, and even the most impossible things and decision we're able to make. May Jesus continue to enlighten us in our own conversion, in our own heart. May we continue also to listen to his voice. May we be able to live and fulfill his will in our own hearts. No matter what in this life would offer before us, but once God and Jesus' voice is heard within our hearts, it won't always be difficult to follow him. The parables of the buried treasure and the pearl of great price tell the joy of the finders. May we understand the supreme value of the kingdom and do everything to possess it. May the ordained ministers and consecrated men and women witness to the joy of giving their lives for Christ and for the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May professionals in all sectors of society find out that even if life is good and they are happy, it will be much better when others are happy because of them. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May we find out that even if we are lacking in many things, we are fortunate if we have God, for God alone is enough. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the young lessen the burden of age carried by the elderly and bring them joy by their respect and love. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we see in the Blessed Virgin Mary a young woman 
whose heart overflowed with joy, who looked at life with faith and treasured the mysteries of the Lord and pondered it in her heart. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. From Malia Sousa and family for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names written in our book of prayers, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, give us the heart and confidence to seek what really gives meaning to our lives, to strive to possess even if, even if we have to let go of other things. For having it, we lack no more. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Our offertory hymn is number 538, 538, Eat This Bread. Eat this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry. Trust in me and you will not thirst. I am the bread of life, the true bread sent from the Father. Eat this bread, drink this cup, Come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Trust in me and you will not thirst. Your ancestors ate manna when the desert. But this is a bread come down from heaven. Eat this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, Trust in me and you will not thirst. Pray may the brethren make sacrifice and yours to be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing Lord God and grant that the sacred mysteries which you have made the fount of all holiness may sanctify us too in the truth of Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for as on this festival of St. Ignatius, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so the company of angels and saints will sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Yes, <laughs> 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection unto you. Again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the 
lessons of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Body of Christ.
May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end, the Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. We're going to go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our ascending fourth hymn is number 421. For to one Lord of all hopefulness. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike nor curse can destroy, be there a head of waking, and give us, we pray, your blessing, O hearts, Lord, at the break of the day. Lord of holy goodness, Lord of all faith, whose strong hands were skilled at the plain and the lame, be there a and give us, we pray, your strength and our hearts, Lord, at the noon of